Hey, it's Judy Farmer and my friend Constance, and we are going to teach you at two levels today. The focus is going to be increase awareness of your core, your deep core. That's the key. It doesn't matter what level you're at. When you become more and more aware of your core and get that stronger, then everything else is easy. I also want to uh, welcome my friend Sue Marie. She's trying it for the first time. I'm going to do the, the exercises I want you to do. Don't do what Constance is doing because she's much more advanced. Okay, but you know, Constance is still improving too. You know, we're all working on our bodies. You know, I saw this beautiful video this morning and it was um, one sent to me from one of my Pilates students and it was so beautiful. And the young woman was exquisite to watch, you know, but the people here, we're, we're um, a lot older. So I give us a lot of kudos. Pat yourself on the back. If you're doing this video, if you're middle aged, you are awesome. And I, I think you're awesome because it's hard to do videos, especially when you know you, you just can't be with people. It's hard to, but try to do them with us because I guarantee you know it just makes you feel good. There are many times when I don't feel like get your face in here. Come on. <laughs> when I don't feel like doing it, I don't, right? And my, my husband tell me, there you go again, you don't really want to do it. And then every time we do it, we just have such a nice Pilates party. So join us for this Pilates party. Get your mat, make sure you have comfortable clothes on. And we're gonna start in lying down with the knees bent. When we're lying down, I'm gonna talk while you do it, okay? So lying all the way down. So you notice Constance is in alignment. Her feet, knees, and hips are in alignment, which means they're a little bit apart for women, about three inches apart. Men, maybe a little wider at the hips. Alexa, pause. That's not very good for now. So I want you to, whatever level you're at, you can learn from this, okay? So let's take some Pilates breath. Just engage your core. You can hear Constance. She just breathed in through her nose. And she's relaxing the breath out of her mouth or out of her nose for as long as she can. As you breathe, I want you to bring your focus inside your body. Doesn't matter what you're looking at. You can glance up here. Mostly I want you to listen. If you need to, you can see Constance. We're breathing, we're relaxing, we're coming into our body. Eckhart Tolle says the way to come into your presence, one of the best ways is to focus inside yourself. Focus on your skin, your hands, your stomach, your breath, your heart. Just bring it in, bring it close. Okay, let's do that for one more breath. Sorry, YouTube stopped, but we're gonna uh, continue here. So where it left off is we are sit, we are lying on our back and focused inward and we're breathing. Now, I'm going to ask you to bring your focus, keep your eyes open, relax, and bring your focus inside your belly, deep in your belly, and man or woman, it doesn't matter, I want you to engage your pelvic floor. Pull it up, pull the muscles between your legs up. Now, when you do that, you really feel it, you also feel the low muscles on your low belly engage. This is invisible, you can't really feel it unless you're doing it, you can't see Constance doing that. Now, when we're doing this, we're engaging the deepest part of the core, the core of the core, which is the muscles that support, you know, your, all your, all your, like your small intestines and your bladder and everything there. So we're just gonna hold that and engage. It's hard to hold it for a long time. Just keep reminding yourself to hold that. And now we're gonna take a breath, squeeze your glutes and tuck your tail and curve your tail forward. So she's tucking, so you can barely see it. She's tucking, she's curving her tail forward. Some Pilates teachers say, bring your tailbone toward your chin. Can you visualize that? Now you're bringing that forward. You're still engaged in that pelvic floor. Now your spine is imprinted in your mat, right? Let's breathe. Exhale, stay. You're imprinted. Feel your belly get a little harder across the middle. Now we're going to add the top part of the belly at the rib cage. We're going to condense it all down. Put your hands gently on your tummy, Constance, and whoever's watching. This is good. Take a breath. On the exhale, softly, completely, lots of air coming out. I want you to compress your rib cage and your chest cavity down, down, deep down, deep down. So your tail is tucked forward, your rib cage is pushing down. It's almost like your ribs are trying to get closer to your hips, okay? Stay right there, breathe. Exhale, on this exhale, condense it even more. Push your ribs down and keep your tail.
exhale, tuck, bringing your tailbone towards your chin, sort of. Now feel that space, put your fingertips on it, connect with it, feel that space. It's like, wow, it's, it's really hard down there. You can feel it, even if you have a little bit of flump, that's okay, you can still feel those muscles. They're hard down there. Take a breath in, stay. Exhale, stay. If you want me to repeat something. Alexa, stop. Sit. Now we're gonna <laughs> add one more element to this to really incorporate it. And that is the lifting the head. Beginner Sue, I want you to really watch Constance. We're gonna inhale, keep everything tucked, your rib cage down, tuck your chin, Constance, and then exhale, come up into Pilates position. Can you do me a fourth? Now look. Look how tough she is. Look how condensed she is into her belly. Now we're gonna come up and do a bunch of Pilates exercises and Constance, I know she's gonna have even more effective core strength just because of this focusing in the beginning of the class. Roll back down, Constance. Now you're gonna release your glutes when you do that. You feel your pelvis rock back to neutral lumbar curve. Take your hand, Constance, slip it underneath your lumbar. So if you do, can you feel that little dip right there? In space, there's your neutral curve. So now we're still the rib cage is compressed. We don't want to let the ribs splay open. Now we're ready to focus and do our single leg kicks to begin. So I'm going to try to have my girlfriend Sue, my new friend Sue from Facebook, imitate me. See Constance, one leg at a time goes in. You can do it alongside me. All right. So you bring your legs into the chest and then you tuck the chin and lift your head. Feel everything engaged. Just what you just did. Pelvic floor, low belly, compression rib cage. Everything's crunched down there like never before. Now, beginners, we're gonna take that left leg way up here. Constance is gonna go all the way to the floor. Hug, hug, switch. Try to keep your head up. Hug, hug. Exhale. Now, everyone, if your neck hurts, lay it down. Hug, hug. Look at your thighs. Do the best you can. Tug, tug. One more set, tug, tug. Bring the knees in, rest your head. Imagine that it's very heavy. I think my head was cut off somewhat. So you can see Constance, excuse me, just rolling her head back and forth, relaxing her head. Now we're going to do one, our crisscross. We're gonna do it with the three pulses. This, I think Constance likes this one. She likes to go hard. We, us beginners that I'm modeling for, we're gonna do it a little differently. So for this one, it's that same core thing I just explained to you, okay? One knee at a time comes into the chest, pull your tummy down, tuck your chin, lift your head, hands behind the head, fingertips push into the head, so you can really support it if you need it. Now, we're gonna lift our leg, right leg up, Constance's leg, right leg is all the way over, and we exhale, push, three, four, inhale, switch, Exhale, and inhale, try it again, inhale, hear the breath, so a little crunch, try to keep the elbow out, and a little crunch, lift, 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 and inhale, lift, 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 now really feel that, two more sets, lift, and exhale, Switch. And one more set. And switch. Knees in. Press your head on down. And bravo. That was kind of hard, wasn't it? Good for you. We're going to change it up now. Coming on to our tummies. And core strength is a little different when you're down here. It's a lot about the glutes. So engage your glutes. I'm going to pull that tummy in. We're gonna come up to swan six times. We're gonna exhale on that. Now, if you only come up three inches, that's okay. Inhale, exhale, lift. Two, three, four. Now, Constance is really bending into her back, trying to come up high. Beginners, we're just pulling that tummy in, engaging your leg, your glutes, and lower. Let's do more. Use your hands a little bit, but mostly your back here. Lower and up. Stretch in the belly, you feel it? Two more, really good. Lower and up. Two, three, four, and lower and up. Two, three, four, come on back down. Bravo, now everyone is gonna try to do this, beginners and intermediate and advanced. The next one, sit down. 
flat because we can't really see me when I'm laying flat like that. So we're gonna bring both arms forward and stretch the body. Everyone, this is good. This is one that will help your chiropractic adjustment all these. We're gonna do Superman lifting from the shoulders. Watch Constance, inhale, exhale, lift and up. Look at her shoulders and hips come up. Hands lower, rest, exhale, lift. So you're using your shoulders and hips, keeping the chin tucked. Let's do four more in. Exhale in, hoist up with those shoulders. Three, four, rest, everything engages. Exhale, pull it up. So much weight, right? Two more. Inhale, lower, rest, and push it up. So you're weight lifting into your body here. One more, lower, and push up into the mid-back. Two, three, four, and down. Let's do breaststroke. Breaststroke is, seems to be simple. Anyone can do it to begin. But as you can see, like Constance is more adept at body movement, she's gonna go slow, she's gonna create resistance. It's just like you swimming. One hands at the face, reach forward, tuck the chin, and then push your arms down, lift your back, see her back. Good, hands at the face, reach forward, inhale, press out and lift. I love it. Again, three, hands at the face, inhale, reach, push out and pull that back down. Good, hands at the face, two more, inhale, stretch, Press and resist and pull. You can even slow it down a little bit for the last one, Constance. Hands at the face. Stretch, press and resist and pull. Now, if you can, hold your hands together in the small of your back here. All right, everyone can try this one. Sue Marie, you can too. We are going to bend your knees, tap the heels to the seat. One, two, three, and we're gonna pull back and hold. Exhaling here, let's do five more. Lower bend, tap, inhale, exhale, pull it up. Really strengthen the back and lower down, tap, 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 exhale, pull. This one is a picture that's on my website, judyfarmer.com. Two more and pull back, really squeeze between the shoulders. And one, because it's one of my favorites, I think. Really great, pull it back. Now you're gonna just let your body rest down really going into a resting mode. So come up into the shell stretch. So shell stretch is kind of like child pose in yoga, if you've done yoga. Yoga and Pilates are different. They're similar in some ways, but yoga is very much a spiritual practice. It's primarily a spiritual practice. Pilates is purely physical, but I would say no. It, it is so uplifting that it feels like you're spiritually uplifted when you do it. You can just, oh, just love in your body. Let's practice one breath with the watching. We inhale and fill up your chest cavity, and then we exhale slowly, let everything out. Now we're gonna bring that folks in, into the core. I know you've had this stuff before, mm -hmm. concept, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna think into the pelvis once again. I want you to try to tuck your tail in this position. It's kind of awkward. Now bring your focus into the lowest vertebra in your back, and then count them up one at a time. See how she's coming up really slowly? Now she's gonna look down at her thighs and she's gonna let that head hang forward into the C curve. And now she's gonna start back down again at the tail, the middle, coming up, rolling up, sort of like you're rolling wallpaper up the wall. You just really roll it up. Wow, that's really nice, Constance. Fantastic. Okay, we're gonna change it up. I want you to come on your knees. Let me adjust the camera. I'm gonna have you be the model for all these. Super fun. I just have to lift the camera up a little bit so don't cut off my friend's head. Okay, Constance, come to one side of your mat. This is going to be challenging. You're going to like it. And we're going to do what we normally don't do, and it's a real Pilates exercise. It's the 100 in kneeling. So as you can see, Constance has got her beautiful posture. She's lifted through the sternum, tucking the tail, shoulders coming down the back. So we really want to engage the shoulders into the back. Create that shoulder girdle for this one. Your, your palms are down just like the other hundred when we're slapping the wires. So Sue Marie, we're gonna, just gonna slap the arms like that. But the main thing is do not compromise. Keep your body very uh, erect and straight and tall and still. Let's try 15 and pulse, 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 get it? Exhale, two, three, four, five, six. Inhale, two, three, 
people, exhale two, three, four. Now I want you to breathe at your own pace. Just inhale really big and then exhale as long as you can. And I want you to pump as hard as you can without moving the torso. You'd be surprised how tiring this one is. You would really be surprised. So Constance is a perfect example. Keep going up. The stronger you get, the stronger you get. The stronger you get, the more you can really pump hard and keep your torso stable. If you're a beginner, you might have a hard time keeping it stable, so you're going to pump more gently. Listen to her long breath in and long breath out. Good. That was at least 50. And you'll be surprised. This is somewhat fatiguing. Let's relax then. Now we're going to go to the next one we do simply. We're going to stretch your inner thighs. So just bring your legs out here. Flex foot. Okay. Arms are out to the letter T. And we're just going to tip to the side. And just enjoy that stretch. So, you know, Pilates isn't all exertion. Is a lot of times we just pause and enjoy a good stretch. We want to feel the inner thigh. We want to feel the side of the hip. Don't point your toe and don't tuck your, your I mean, even don't stick your hip behind you. Keep them real tall for a nice, even inner thigh stretch for 30 seconds. And we're tipping, we're lifting that arm. Now, we're just simply going to bring the arm down all the way to the side. And then we're going to do some side leg series. There she is. So because of stretching that inner thigh, she's got her leg right up there. Five, or ten slow circles. See what she's doing? Ten, nine, eight. Look at the precision and control. I mean, at first, Sue Marie, you're not even going to keep your leg up for that long. But it's, it's, you'll be surprised if you do it by the third time. You'll be able to keep the third time you do this. I mean, you try it at least every other day. I mean, at the most every other day. You want to give yourself a day to uh, recover. Did you do 10 in the other direction? Eight. Which Nine. is awesome. Seven. Keep correct my off time too. All right, now keep your leg up if you can. Flex your foot. We're going to come forward with grace and then point and reach back. That's all it is. Look at that leg. Exhale forward. Now you're really stabilizing that pelvis. Nothing's moving but the ball and socket joint of that hip and all the surrounding muscles. Let's do seven. What is that? Four more? You feel okay? Only four. <laughs> okay. Big and reach. Now, uh, Constance is bent on her knee slightly. Don't bend your knee. I want you to really feel it only from that ball and socket joint there. You just tell me when you're done. Approximately seven is good. All right. Good job. If you're trying, if you have to take a break or jump back in, then do so. All right. Next one. We're just going to do one that um, I call the candle because your body is literally shaped like a flame. I love it. Now with this one, if you've done it before, I want you to go further. Make yourself go further. Don't just do the same repetitive mo movements. In Pilates, we're always pushing ourselves, right? Beginners, you just tip out to the side in a comfortable way. Here we go. Inhale, tip out to the side. Constance is going way out there. And then exhale, bring it back. So you're still going to stick your leg out like Constance is but you're not going to go as far. So just waking up those muscles all through the lumbar area and relax. And breathe either way. You can breathe as you lean out or breathe as you lift up. Just as long as you have a nice controlled breath. Two more then. Go out there. If you've done this before, go way out there. Good. And then we have one more and wonderful job. Well, all right, good. Bravo. Thank you for the effort. Now, we're going to do, before we do the other side, which we will, we're going to do another one. So, Constance is going to go on quadruped, and we're going to uh, round the back, because I want you to release your low back. Sometimes that can hold tightness. Start from your tail, Constance, tucking your tail, push it up into the lumbar, pushing up through the mid back. So, what we're doing is we're trying to imagine... You can even try to imagine you have a cinch right around here, and it's just pulling you right up to the ceiling. So just really push into it. It's really good for us. All right, that's great. So that probably relieved tension. Now we're going to go ahead and come back to our nice quadruped, which is, of course, on all fours. And she's lengthening through the crown of her head, and her tail's going straight out. So I want you to do this this time. This, if you're new to this, that's good, because you'll learn the right way. Now, Constance is going to take her right leg and reach it out. But before, hold on a second. I want to just give you some point of focus. Whoops. For those of us who are doing this with me, please do it with me. 
feel your pelvis here, Constance. I want her to just be aware. That's where I'm touching, because touching really creates that powerful awareness. Feel where the bone of your pelvis. Your pelvis is like the basin of your body. Feel where it is. Now keep it right there, and then reach the leg out as far as it go. I want you to keep that stable. So Constance, bring your hip down a little bit, because what I see is the hip is slightly higher. So you want to work on that stabilization. This is part of the core stabilization right here. Okay, so go ahead, lift your left hand and reach it out as straight as you can, your left arm. And Sue Marie, any beginners, just the leg is fun. Let's go ahead and make little circles. Three, four, now look how she's not kicking it around. She's not making huge circles. She's just trying to create that precision and control. So we're going to do 10 and 10. Notice how her body is completely stable. There's no wiggling and moving. That's awesome. Tell me when you're done. Ten circles in one. Okay. Thank you. How'd you do? Did you really feel that control in your pelvis? I did this morning. I do this stuff all the time. It's kind of cool. All right, let's focus on your pelvis. You're on all fours, never looking up and around them, but you're just listening and focusing inside your body. Lengthen out that left leg. Really reach it out, like pull it out of the socket. Look at this. Beautiful. Right hand reaches out, and let's do those circles from the hips. Perfectly stable torso. See it? That's what you want. You want to stabilize your torso. You want to get that muscle in your hip working perfectly. You don't puff on these. You just feed the body lots of oxygen in a relaxed manner. Well done. Now we're going to do somewhat of a new one. This is what I did in that little beautiful video, which uh, was, was beautiful, but um, she was pregnant. All right, so we're going to pick up your left hand and reach it through your right arm and right leg. And this time, we're going to bring your, your shoulder all the way down. All the way down. You feel it? Try to keep your butt up. And bring that shoulder down. Now, Constance and I have shorter torsos, so it's quite a twist. So how do you feel? Feel different? No, no. Okay, bring your shoulder down a little more. So this is what this girl did. She had that sh shoulder reaching all the way down to the to the mat. And I felt it quite a bit this morning. So let's okay, just now it feels feel it now. So it's like it's forcing that shoulder down, really cranking it. I love it. Let's breathe softly a couple more times. Feels good. You're really stretching the shoulder. Bring your hand back up, go back to all fours. Now, of course, we're going to repeat the other side. Inhale, picking up your right arm, walking it through. See, Constance is trying to bring her shoulder all the way down. This is the first time she's done it this way, but I think it's a really good challenge to try different ones. Just to kind of keep her hips from coming down. She's really twisted, even though she has a, a shorter torso. Let's breathe long and soft. Good. Lots of rotation there. Awesome job. And go ahead, come up on all fours. Bring your seat down to your heels or as wide as your knees. Just kind of round your back so you bring your back up. You don't have to bring your feet all the way down. Here's our relaxation position. Notice how Constance is relaxing and breathing. So it's a break time. You take lots of breaks this morning. All right, remember the focus. Find your tailbone. Think about it. Now tuck it. Now push into the lowest vertebra and count them all the way up, pushing into each one and then comes up last. Very last. All right, let's go ahead. Come to the other side. Very fun. And I think I will bring my neck way over here. Do you have enough room for that right leg? Oh, yeah. Oh, we're good. Yeah, I think this is real good right here. Okay, first one. We are going to, oh, where did you start from? Because I'm just trying to remember. <laughs> we did, did the inner thighs start? Inner thighs. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, we did the inner thighs. <laughs> All right, so flexing your foot. See, Constance, she's in good position. Keeping the tail tucked down. You don't want to stick your butt out there. Sitting real, or kneeling really tall. Oh, you no, know we did? We did the hundreds. That's why it's, oh, yeah, let's do some more. We did 50, actually. Well, we kind of did just a bunch of them, so let's just do a bunch of these. Now, let's get our tall first. Watch those knees. Don't spread them apart. They need to be kind of almost touching. If you're chubby, you want to let your legs touch because it's about the bones. Okay? 
the knee, the femur, and going to the hip bones is the same for almost all these, all of us women. Okay, we begin. Chest forward, shoulders locked down, and pump. Two, three, four. Exhale. Two, three, four, five, six, and everyone can pump as hard as they can. As long as you're not wobbling like this, that's what we don't want to do. So as long as you're stable, I want you to slap, slap, slap like you're slapping water, breathing. I want to give a special shout out to Chris, one of my wonderful few lovely fans. I appreciate you making nice comments at the end of the videos every time you use one. It means a lot to me. Go! Go, 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 go. Force it. Woohoo! Now, I guarantee tomorrow morning you're going to feel that. It didn't seem like much today, but it's great. All right, let's take that leg out. Sitting tall, like I started to explain. We want to keep that uh, uh, supported knee nice and straight. We're not bending back into the hip. Unless it hurts, you want to be gentle. You want to just go into it gently. So the knee's taking the arms out. And we're just tipping. And I want you to feel a very nice side stretch here. Okay, so you're lengthening up through, lengthening through the side. Go ahead, class. Let's take your arms straight up higher. See that top arm? Really forcing more stretch into that too. So when you're feeling, I hope, a nice inner thigh achy mm -hmm. feeling. Adductor, abductor muscles. Stretching those out. They don't get much stretching, do they? No, we're sitting too much. Waking up this body today. One more breath. Feeling elegant. Gentlemen, too. You're elegant. Your body's elegant. All right, let's put that arm down. And we're coming up for some work. I'm going to let you do the modeling. This is the perfect way. We're going to do 10 circles in one direction, 10 circles in the other. If you're a beginner, if you can get that leg up there and do a few circles, put it down for a break and get back up there, that's what you want, right? Every success has to begin. Don't compare yourself with her. She does this every week. She's very committed. She's very athletic. Okay, let's do the kicking forward flex. Check and hold. No, it's just one. Yeah, that's just My one. mistake. Yeah, just one reach. Flex and then back. Now, she can see herself in our little video, so she can see how high the leg is. So she can really watch. So if you want to do this one and have a mirror handy, that'll help. That'll really help. Now watch it on that reach back. Try not to bend that knee. You're really pointing, lengthening out through that toe. Listen to the breath from here. Good. Almost done? Almost. Okay. Awesome. Graceful. So that's what you want to, you know, go for. So you just practice, enjoy it. And I enjoy teaching you. No worries about that or else it wouldn't be free. Let's bring your arms up for our nice little plane. Think of yourself that way. I love it. Now, beginners, we're just going to tip out part way. Constance is way out there. All right, and picking it up. You're feeling a nice inner thigh stretch, too. Doesn't that feel good? Everyone's different. Some people have trouble with certain exercises because of different things that are unique about their own body, right? They're not the same. Not in that way, because we have different lifestyles, right? How much is it? Two more? How many more you doing? I think six or seven is good. One more. Okay, let's do one more. Way out there, Constance. Beautiful example. And up. And bring your arms down. Bravo. All right, we're going to try. This is really cool. We're going to go on our side and go to the clamshell position. Something else I learned from that. Oh, this model today. All right, so we're going to do a different constance. We're going to bring your feet up together and lift them up um, behind you. So that she hasn't done this. No. I know. I can't really model. I can't really model. So your feet are to the end. Oh. Oh no. You want to keep? Let me. Let me just get you okay. for a minute. Yep. So you will do this as soon as you see it. So your knees are here, and we're gonna just bring your feet up. Okay. So you keep your knees down, okay. and then we're gonna do our clamshell here. It just feels like more, okay? So Constance is going to jump right in and be able to do that. <laughs> of course. So, okay, that. And now you're going to point your toes and do clamshell. So we're going to do eight of these. See how her feet are up behind her? 
I thought that was really cool. I felt that a little more in my obliques. And my feet were up a high knee. Some people say it's easier that way. This is an original Joe Pilates movement called clamshell. Now, at, when you go to number nine, I want you to straighten the leg. Okay, straighten, touch, and lower. Keep your feet up. Straighten, touch, and lower. You got it. Perfect, perfect. This woman is cool. She can, she gets it. She can do it. Let's do four more. Reach, touch, and down. So you're really trying to isolate this movement. Your upper body is the same. Your bottom leg is the same. You're just really moving perfectly. Okay, one more for three. Reach, touch, and down. Okay, great. Let's go into pipe then. And this one, if you're new, it's not going to look pretty, but you're firing the same muscles Constance is. So bring your legs together, bring them in front of the mat, like Constance said, not on the mat, right? You want to be back at the hip. Lean forward, push your palm into your mat. Constance doesn't have to push. We squeeze and lift the legs and lower them. We're going to do 10 today. Just try. If you need to take a break, take a break and do it more. Lift and lower. So we squeeze the legs together, lift and lower. And lift and lower. All right. How are we at? Five? Seven. Squeeze and lift. Use your hand in front if you need to. She does. <laughs> All right. Three. Okay. One. Okay. Good. Now we're going to keep the legs in pipe. We're going to flex the top foot. We're going to go through a series of things and not stop, not pause, because I want you to really give yourself some work. Now, if you're a beginner, you need to pause. Just pause and jump back in. Because as, as you repeat this video, you're going to have to pause and jump, jump back in less and less, right? All right, so what we're going to do is big circles, push your foot forward, pick it up high, then really reach behind you. But look, her hips aren't going with her. She's going to keep her hips stable. Now go back and lift and push through the heel, bringing it down and pause. Two more sets. Push, inhale, lift. Exhale, reach and pause. Inhale back. Exhale, and pause. One more set. Push, resist, control the hip. Exhale back. And your breathing's perfect. Exhale as you're pulling it around. Pause now. Elevator one, two, three. Sorry, I did not want you to pause between those. And one, two, three. Precision and control of movement is a Pilates principle. At first, when you do these, they are kind of wobbly, right? It, it, it kind of hurts. It's like, wow, I can't believe it. You're really waking up the muscles. But as you practice, you are going to be just like this. It doesn't take long for these. All right, one more after this, and we're going to go right into down. We'll take it forward like we usually do. I love doing that. Here we go. Two kicks. Tap, tap. Now reach behind without moving the body. That's the key. Tap, tap. Imagine you're bouncing a cup of Starbucks on your shoulder and there's no lid on it. <laughs> Exhale and tap, tap. Inhale, reach. Now I want you to feel that pelvis so stable that when you reach back, you feel your glute muscles and your leg muscles doing all the work. That's key. Let's do one more. Now we're going to reach back and do a quad stretch. We're going to bend the knee and hold the ankle. If, it's, if you can't hold the ankle, then that's okay. You know, we have different proportions. You might not be able to hold your ankle. Then I'll give you a different way to do a quad stretch before we finish. Because we really should stretch the quad. Breathe in completely. Exhale, lengthen through the femur bone. Pressing forward into the hip flexor area. Feel the achiness, right? That's what you want for 30 seconds. Changing the length of those muscles. That's why yogi, yoga people are very more flexible. They hold these poses. That's a good thing. All right, let's do one more breath and relax. It's a good time to relax and so to take a break too. Good. Now, before we finish, I mean, before we switch, we loosen the leg, we're going to go ahead and come into a shelf stretch. Because I know if you're a beginner at this, Constance is going to show you how to just get into it, coming in all fours, exhaling down. Then you might have a lot of tension in your back. We don't want to carry that home with us or after the video. We want to release that tension throughout the class. So don't think this is a waste of time. It's very important. 
to do a 15 minute Pilates class here at the studio. We really get your money's worth, but we have to do these shell stretches throughout. So go to beautypharma.com for my schedule. If you want to try a class or you, you can set a meeting to call me, uh, it says, you know, click here to schedule a free call. Now we're going to roll up by tucking the tail, just the way we did before, counting your vertebra, bringing the neck up last, seven little vertebra in the neck. And so beautiful. I love it. Okay. What are we going to do now? Oh, there's Fred. It's going to take me just a minute. We're going to do something between, um, oh, I know what we're going to do. We're going to do goal posts. Okay. Now, this is really hard. This one really shows and addresses a lot of imbalances. I'll be down here because you can still see what needs to be seen, which is the torso. But when your legs come out and you, you spread them out, right, um, and they flex your feet, if, you, if it makes you hunch over, then I want you to bend your knees, show them how to bend your knees. So if you bend your knees, you can do this and you won't have, uh, you'll be able to keep your upper body really straight and tall. That's the most important part of this. So conscious, go ahead and bring your legs to V. And the rest of us are going to slightly bend the knees so we can keep our chest really tall. First thing we want to do is make goalposts out of your arms, just the same shape. Constance, if you could tip this way a little bit, maybe okay. bring your rear end up and that, because I want them to see your goalposts. If that's not, if that's not, if that's comfortable, okay. So we're gonna do shoulder shrug and then pull them down through time. So bring the shoulders up, breathe in, exhale, push it down. Do that perfect shape and lift. And this time, really push it down on your exhale and hold. All right, now we're gonna slowly rotate to the right. Straighten the arms and pulse, pulse, pulse. Bend goal pulse, center, twist. You have to tell you to breathe, straighten, and go. Complicated goal pulse. Middle, twist, straighten, and goal pulse. It's hard, isn't it? Twist, straighten, and one, and two, and three. I feel it. Goal pulse, center, stay tall, twist. Straighten, and one, two, three, one more side. Center, twist, straighten. And center, and come back, or bend, center, come back, and let the arms come down, relax. Very good, let's do a couple of spine stretch forwards because beginners need it, we all need it. Go back to the position where you were kind of sideways. So Constance is gonna do a perfect spine stretch forward, flex feet, sitting really tall, Bringing your arms up in front, but not straight, right? We lift and throw through the crown of the head. Breathe in. Exhale down. Now, she can even bounce into it. She's all warmed up. You can see how she can really pulse into it, but mainly she's going crown of the head forward, keeping her feet flexed. Good. Two more. Roll up. Stack your vertebrae just like you did coming out of that other one. Inhale. Throw the crown of the head forward and lengthen and pulse if you like. I want you to really lengthen through the crown. Very good. Roll up. So good, isn't it? Inhale. Forward. So classic Pilates, we do three of these every class. Right? That's what Joe Pilates said. But I always mix it up. We don't always do these. Let's roll up and sit tall. And now we're going to go bring the legs to the other side. And we're going to do the same sequence, starting with that um, it's called clamshell in classic Pilates. Okay. Oh, yeah, she's got it. So lift your legs. See how Constance says? Go ahead. And we begin open and close. So we're trying to gracefully open and close without tipping back. Show them how to do it wrong. Leaning back. And you move the hips back. So you, you want to keep the hips stacked one on the other. That's your core stability. It's a lot about the pelvis, too. Your core basically is all, anything and all the muscles you can fit into a high-waisted pair of shorts. Think about that. That includes the core. You ready to start the reaching one? Straight and touch and down. Keeping those feet up behind you. Look how lovely. Keep going. Now try to slow it down, Constance. I want you to slow it down just so that people are beginners and not feel like they're kind of left in the dust. How many do you have? All right, let's do that. three more. Two, reach. When in doubt, blow it out, right? You don't have to breathe perfectly. As long as 
just keep moving. Go ahead and rest the legs down. Now this one you might feel tomorrow too. All right, let's bring those legs forward and together and squeeze them together. Ready, we're gonna lift and lower, lift and lower. Beginner, don't know how to do the hands for beginners. Put your palm on the mat, lean forward and help, help yourself. And push yourself up slowly. So you push those legs up. You feel how you have a little more control? And then after you get used to it, you don't have to use your hand anymore like Constance. And you always want to perfect this stuff, right? Tell me when you've got 10. You can see it from there. <laughs> All right, we lower. Now we flex the foot. We do those slow, big circles forward. Push, lengthen, reach it back, and pause. Back, inhale. Exhale, push, and down. So remember, you're not moving that hip. You're just moving the, the bone socket joint, the femur bone, and you're pushing through the heel. You're doing three sets. One direction and then the other. One more set, right? Push, lift, pull your leg out of the socket on there, and back. Wonderful. Right into the elevator. Pause, 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 press to the basement. Here we go. Pause, pause, pause. Exhale. Let's do six. Four more. Slow it down a little bit. Exhale. And three. Three, three. Three, do the best you can if you're a beginner. You can try it again. You can even look up some other videos of mine that are for beginners. Like first time. Mix it up. Okay, then we're going to go right into double kick for a pause and hit kick, kick, and reach. Very important on this that you have that torso stability that you earn through practice of Pilates. All right, so Constance can kick it as hard as she wants. And she is not going to wobble. But in the beginning, when you kick forward, you just tend to lean back. And when you reach back, you tend to lean forward. So we're really working on that every time we do it. Let's do three more. Kick in, kick, and lengthen. This is also classic Pilates. Three. Now the last one, we're going to give ourselves a nice quad stretch. Bend your knee. Okay? <laughs> yeah. Bend your knee and hold your ankle if you can reach it. We are going to do another type of quad stretch as we kind of bring it down. We're going to bring it down into, we, we lower the intensity at the end of the class. We're approaching it right up there. We're approaching the end. So I hear Constance behind me. She's breathing long breaths. That's key to allowing those muscles to relax and lengthen. Thank you so much for joining us. It's like when you're doing this, you can really feel, you can really feel the people watching you. And it's not like it's a big flattering myself show. It's like a unity. It's a really fun feeling. It's like a party. Okay, that was about 30 seconds, I think. Yeah. Okay, let's do something a little different. We're going to come on our tummy. Okay. And we're going to come up on the forearms. So Constance is going to model it for you. And we're going to do quad work. Oh, oh not yet. Not planks. <laughs> oh, um, forearms. So <laughs> that, Sorry. that's okay. I mean, <laughs> I can't read my mind. I mean, you're doing so well. Okay, we're going to do the tapping of the heels only. We're not going to do toe heel toe. Okay. Now, on this one, I'm going to correct you a little bit, Katsu. Lift from between the shoulders. Bring your body up here, your shoulders down. Feeling your belly stretch on this one. This is a good extension movement, too. Let's do three heel taps to the seat. Go ahead and bend, tap, 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 and lower. That's all it is. I just want to give that for the beginners. Exhale, tap, 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 and lower. You feel your quad stretch? If that other one wasn't comfortable to you, this one's really great. You can even go ahead and point, flex, point. You can show them that constant. So toe, and heel, and toe. Good. You feel it? You're keeping your posture nice and long. You're engaging your glutes so you don't hurt your lumbar. Breathe in. On the exhale, we kick it. One more. Toe, heel, toe, lower down. Now, for all of us, sort of settling this down, we're going to do some beautiful head turns. Okay? Lengthen from your tail through the crown of the head here. And go ahead. Let's turn left for the first one. So I want you to go turn as far as you can, turn your head left. 
and bring your crown of your head down slightly. Good. So that's like really good form right there. You sort of look through the, at the ear, the jaw area. Let's take our breath in and slowly bow the chin and all the way around to the right, going across your chest and lift it to the right. Same. Really nice. Breathe in. Drop and bring it across, blowing, lengthening through the crown. Feel it even stretch off to the side, look up to the left and hold. Turn your head, really crank it, go as far as you can and hold, breathe in. Again, drop and blow. We're only going to do two sets, so I really want you to get the most out of this. Lifting at the ear, turning as far as you can. Inhale. One more. Drop and roll, bringing it around. Boy, that even just releases tension for me right here. Lifting up. Now the lift your hands in front of your face. Push into the shell stretch to finish it off. And just relax here. Stay right there. Now everyone, just stay right there in your shell stretch. And I want you to relax here in your shell stretch and breathe. And just be thankful. Find a time to just sit there and be thinking and be thankful. Be thankful for the morning sun coming in the room, your cup of tea in your hand, uh, the, the good feeling of your breath, just working on those moments, capitalizing on those moments of joy, of feeling good, appreciating as much as you can. It's an exercise and will really bless you and help you. So sting your shell stretch. Let's do one more breath together. Exhale. All right, let's roll up together on our next breath. And we roll up, looking up. Go ahead and look at your, your whatever monitor you have. And Constance and I want to thank you for joining us. And we very much appreciate you. And if you'd like to check out the schedule on judyfarmer.com, set a meeting with me. It says schedule a meeting. It's a little green button. It's free. Anything about weight loss or Pilates. Okay, take care and we'll see you next week.